Look, I can explain. I know you see this game, you're probably like, OP, are you really down bad like that? Look, I, I told you I can explain. This is a brand new game. It literally just dropped like two, three days ago, I think, called Illusion Connect. And I've been playing it ever since the day after it dropped, and it's a ton of fun. It really is. So I thought, why not make a video on it? I don't know if I'll post more videos on this. If you guys want to see more videos, of course, you guys know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. But real quick, let me tell you, what is Illusion Connect? People say it's like chess with anime titties. I'm not really going to disagree with that, because for one, I never really played chess, so I don't really know how chess plays out. I think it's more so just because how the way the board is set up, it looks like chess. Here, I'll just show you a stage real quick and kind of give you an idea of what the gameplay is. So I'm currently on chapter 8-2, and we're going against... Oh god. This guy's kind of annoying depending on what he does in a fight, but we'll just show you real quick. We'll just turn it on auto just so you can kind of see. I do recommend though, if you are playing this, to actually play yourself because sometimes the auto messes up pretty bad and it doesn't work too well, but it looks like in this time it actually worked pretty nice. Nope, never mind. We have another boss. Oh god. And it's another one. It's another one, bro. Oh yeah, by the way, let me just say, for difficulty, whenever it spikes in this game, developers are like, hey, how do we make the game harder? Add two of the same enemy in the same fight. But that's kind of like what gameplay is. You can be very strategic about it. If I was actually playing in the hard mode story or the collapse story, I would actually have to play these myself. So don't just think it's a complete auto game. The higher you go up, the more and more you need to play the game. But once you beat a stage, it's similar to Arknights, where if you need to farm that stage again, you can just auto it, like, and it'll just clear it for you, just instantaneously. Of course, this is a gotcha game. And for all my people out there that are maybe getting into this game because they've never seen it before, I want to tell you all the ways you can get your characters. You can go to the gotcha, and you can summon on any of these banners. As you can see here, we have a banner currently for Maki. This is actually, I think, the first featured exclusive gotcha banner, whatever you want to call it. Because I don't think Maki is in the regular pool. Let me actually see real quick. Oh yeah, she actually is, but I think the difference between this banner is that she is guaranteed. Yeah, you're guaranteed in your first seven summons to get one of her. So if you want to save up for these, you can, but these are kind of expensive multis, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't even have enough tickets, but it costs like 4,000 gems. Most of the time though, for multi summons, like on this one, it costs 1,800. But this is completely worth it if you're able to save up over time and go for the specific character that you want. This is absolutely worth it. Also, it has a smaller pool. So if you're trying to snipe certain characters, all these characters are actually pretty sure. Of course, it is a gotcha though. So all of these banners you can summon on to get characters and there's other stuff that you can do apart from just summoning with your premium currency, your diamonds. You can also use these currencies here and I'll talk about how to obtain these in just a second. But you saw there was a few other banners in there that you could summon on as well. Well, the way how you obtain that type of currency, because it actually does not use your premium gem, is for one, arena, uh, PvP. Anytime you win in PvP, you obtain these coins down here, which can be used in the summon, which if you go over here to the summon and you scroll down to the honor one, this is for the PvP summon. If you get 3,000 of these bad boys, you have a chance to summon her. Now, of course, she is featured in the ban- She isn't- She's pretty much the only unit in the banner. Everything else is just a bunch of other stuff that's actually helpful to you, but all of this right here is extremely good. Like, don't be like, oh my god, I didn't get her in like my first few multis or something, because all this stuff benefits you. Genosis is a little bit different. You don't actually unlock this mode till later on in the game. This is from Illusion Corridor. You can do this every single day, and this is going to be your main way how you get, for one, gear, and then also get other shards for other characters. So you start out with three attempts on this whenever you first unlock it, I think in chapter seven or six, but then every single day after that on reset, it gives you one attempt back so you can do it again. Or if you don't want to do it on that day, you can wait three days and then do all of them then. But that's how you get the Genosis to summon on the other banner. And then for this banner, the contribution banner, the way how you get this is, as you can see right here, is from the guild. You can join a guild in this game. And if you're contributing to the guild, then you're, for one, your contribution will go up. As you can see here, I have a thousand for this week. And once you get 3,000, of course, that means you can summon on the Contribution Summon banner. And she's actually really good, by the way. Nicola, she's one of the best units in this game. Well, like I said, that's not the only way you can get characters in the game. If we actually go into our partners, you can see that this is a little bit different than other gacha games. Or you may have played a gacha game similar to this. I think Azura Lane is kind of similar to an extent, even though I never played it. But you can obtain character fragments over time for certain characters. As you can see here, if I get 15 more diamond fragments, I will be able to obtain diamond for free. Same thing with Maki. If I get 60 of this, I'm able to obtain Maki for free. And it just pretty much goes for the entire thing. And the way how you can obtain these is making use of your R characters. These R characters that you'll never use, let's say Carol. If you actually had enough dupes, you can go here to the lens and you can increase her star level. And you can open this lens chest. 
Every single lynch chest that you open gives you SR fragments, which of course can be used for SR units. Now, that's all that the Rs will give you though. Other SRs and stuff will give you like higher grade pieces like SSR and everything. But for the most part, R units only give SR pieces, but still SRs and SSRs are what you really want in this game. And of course, like I said, I already touched on it a little bit. Illusion Corridor is going to be your best way to obtain most of the units that you do not have or obtain shards for units that you do have and you want to build up those characters even more. Also, I know what you're already asking. It's OP. Where's the tier list? I want to see a tier list. I want to know what's good, what's bad, what to reroll for, all that good stuff. I got you, homie. Look at this. This right here is the tier list made, I think, in the official Illusion Connect Discord. I'm not in it. Somebody sent it to me. So, you know, you can take this tier list with a grain of salt. But this is made by some of the top players currently in the global server. It does have some weight to it, you know what I mean? So I'd say if you follow this, you're probably going to be in a pretty good spot. Of course, this is a waifu game, so you could just go for your favorite waifus in the game and just live like that. And if you're just starting out too, another thing that I could tell you that will definitely help you a ton, you redeem your codes. You won't know any codes at all, probably, if you just start playing the game. But I'll have a few listed down below in the description. And if you guys know any more that I didn't list in the description, you can put it in the comment section. You can type in the codes here or copy and paste them from the description into here. And they will give you tons of diamonds, which is, of course, the premium currency, stamina, gold, just a bunch of stuff to just help you. Also, talking about new characters, let's say you receive a brand new character. For example, let's say we pulled Anna here. If I would have pulled Anna, and you see this magnifying glass right here, if I actually would click on it, like so, it would bring up a screen like this. And in the bottom right, there will be a chest. If you click on the chest, it would actually give you diamonds. So to extend, if you multi-summoned her, you get a tiny bit of those diamonds back. Also, I would not ignore this system either. This is the intimacy system. I think you can go about this two ways. You can either go for your favorite characters in the game that you just like just gift stuff to them but if you really want to like mid max as much as possible then i definitely recommend that you get the intimacy up with the people that are going to be on your main team but now you guys know these types of games if you played any other one let's talk about your base or your house this is one of the most important aspects of the game in my opinion if you ignore this you can just be missing out on tons of resources and tons of additional stats that you could just have by taking advantage of this place because all the stuff that's in here benefits you and none of it really hurts you like for example the cart gives you gold every single hour just there because why not helps you become extremely rich just by not even playing the game same thing with the single deck chairs these give you crystals which are used for enhancing your units you get xp potions which is of course used for the same thing enhancing your units you upgrade your bed and i guess the more you make it bigger the more people you can take on your team you go over here to idle though this is where i was talking about you have all these additional stats that you could just have as you can see here this increases my leader's hp by 8.5 percent at the moment i could increase this even more if i wanted to if i like really had like other ssr characters characters and stuff but for right now this is perfectly fine for me same thing here this is increasing all my partners hp meaning my units hps in the otaku room of course it's going to give us more deployed energy See, this is increasing how much gold i'm obtaining from my house and in the hot spring this is increasing how many crystals i'm obtaining so you can put whoever you want to in all these rooms if you want to just increase the intimacy and everything but if you want to get like the best stat boost and the best bang for your buck always make sure you are matching the room type or the affiliation type with the characters we talked about a lot of stuff in this video but the last thing is is that make sure that you check your shop even if you're free to play this is still one of the best things the game disconnected on me network connection what what you mean what bruh i'm recording a video hello so i can connect to other games but it's just the servers man it's just the servers those servers are horrendous but what i was gonna say was is that in the shop if you go there there's a pack that you can get every single day and every single week and every single month that is completely free because even if you're free to play the shop still benefits you because they just give you free stuff every single day but guys it's gonna be in the video congrats on getting into loading screen simulator hopefully these servers are fixed uh, soon so i can actually make more content on this game because right now man this stuff really ain't it hey man it's been your Bro, Pete, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. And last but not least, man, don't forget to drink water.